Hello Gangster World viewers, this video is about the man who killed John Gotti's son. His name was John Favar who was born on the 4th of March 1929 in Queens, New York. As an adult he lived close to Gambino crime family member John Gotti, in the New York neighborhood of Howard Beach. Favar wasn't a gangster, he worked a legitimate job as the manager at the Castro Convertibles Furniture Store in New Hyde Park, he had an adopted son who was close friends with John Gotti's children and in particular his 12-year-old son, Frank Gotti. On a spring day in 1980, Favara and Frank Gotti's lives would collide with disastrous consequences. That afternoon Frank Gotti had been playing in the neighborhood with a few of his friends. Frank's sister had seen him and his friends on their bikes at around 4.30 p.m., apparently she told Frank that he needed to be home for dinner at 5. Later that afternoon as Frank's mother, Victoria Gotti prepared dinner, she received a phone call telling her that Frank had been hit by a car. The person driving the car was Favara. Allegedly he had jumped a stop sign and was speeding before hitting Frank, who had ridden into the road without looking. Frank had been dragged 200 feet down the road under the tire of Favara's car. Frank would die as a result of his injuries. However, Favara had no charges filed against him, and it was ruled an accident. Obviously, the Gaudis were angered by this ruling. Apparently, Favara went to the Gaudis' house to apologize for Frank's death. Victoria Gotti responded by trying to attack Favara with a baseball bat, Favara was able to move out of the way before the bat made contact. Favara didn't contact the police or file any charges against her and instead decided to move house. After putting his house up for sale, a buyer viewed the house and made Favara an offer. Favara quickly accepted, and the legal paperwork was drawn up. The sale was expected to be completed on the last day of July. But Favara would never get the chance to move house. On July 28, 1980, several witnesses saw him being shoved into a van by four to five men, close to where Favara worked. Stories of what happened next to him differ depending on who you ask. But the most common theory is that Favara was killed either by being beaten to death with a baseball bat or shot with a .22 caliber pistol. His body was never found and again accounts differ from what was done to Favara's dead body, some say he was cut up with a chainsaw and then put into a barrel which was then filled with concrete and dumped in the ocean. Or buried in an unmarked grave somewhere. However, what is definitely known is when Favara was abducted and murdered, John Gotti and his family were in Florida on vacation. There are still rumors to this day that John Gotti was the mastermind behind Favara's disappearance. When Gotti was questioned by the police about Favara's disappearance, Gotti said, I'm not sorry the guy's missing. I wouldn't be sorry if the guy turned up dead. And when his wife Victoria, was questioned by the police she said, I don't know what happened to him, but I'm not disappointed he's missing. He killed my boy. As always if you like the video leave a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do it, thanks.